reason why I should avoid the Noid. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Thank you to Alfredo Solis Fuentes for that catchphrase submission, and welcome to Comedy Bang Bang for another week. And oh my goodness, do we have an exciting episode for you. We have uh, coming up a little later on the show, we have some famous pro athletes, and uh, also uh, after that we have a famous telenovela star. So two famous people, or three famous people, that is. Uh, and uh, before we get to them, let's get to a non-famous person. Uh, he is a, by the way, Scott Ackerman here, your host, also a non-famous person. That's who I was talking oh, about myself. Okay, that's very nice. Um, but let's uh, get to, he's a returning favorite. He's one of our uh, most favorite friends over the past few years, ever since we got to know him. Uh, you, he first came to national and international prominence in the, uh, I guess uh, one would call it a television series. <laughs> I, I've heard it called as, as such, yeah. <laughs> Orphan Black. I don't know why I was trying to think of that. <laughs> television series. Yeah, that's what I would call it. Yeah. Uh, Orphan Black, uh, where he played, uh, I, I want to say, Ronnie? <sighs> Is that who it is? It's Donnie. Donnie. So so close. Donnie. So close, yet so far. Um, he also <laughs> played Constable Johnstable in some uh, BBC or UK show. Constable I, Jackson on a Canadian series called Murdoch Mysteries. Yeah, close, the Murdoch close, Mysteries. Though, close. Where he was shot to death, um, execution Brutally. style. <laughs> Brutally shot to death. Cutting short his tenure on the show after a few short seasons. That's true. He has now segued into a new show called Carter which is uh, premiering on WGN America August 7th uh, in a few short weeks. Please welcome Christian Brune. Hello. Hi. Thanks for having me back. It's been a while. It's, of course, been a while. Certainly. This is true. Certainly. I'm not falling for your, uh, for your trap. <laughs> Damn it. Um, welcome Son back to the bitch. show, Christian. Thank What's you up? for having me back. Uh, you know, nothing new, just... Chilling in Hollywood, living the Hollywood lifestyle, living the dream. A, is that a Bonobo shirt? Who, who, who this is uh, an H&M. H&M? So you what can does tell that I'm stand rolling. for? Uh, and what do you his, stand his for? His and mine, I believe. Because if you don't stand for that, you'll stand for anything. I don't support it, but it's affordable. And uh, since I'm you know, now rolling in that Hollywood money, I got to That's right. You've moved to, to Hollywood yep. from Toronto. Yes, Toronto. Toronto. Yes, sir. And, and people in Toronto get very upset if you don't say it the correct way. Yes, Toronto. Toronto. Yes, correct. They, they almost you bark shout it. it. Yeah. Toronto. Welcome to Toronto. And what? And isn't the airport code for Toronto, like it has a Y in it? Isn't it like YQV or something it like that? It is YYZ. It's not Z. Yeah, it's YYZ. Y-Y-Z. And, why, and th- those letters are nowhere to be found in Toronto. So why Zero. is that? Uh, it's because we're off the grid. And we're, <laughs> it's all solar, the whole airport. The whole so airport is solar. It's off the airplane grid. The airplane grid, as they call it. The air, meaning it's, 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 it's all like solar, kind of and so it doesn't, it doesn't get a... It's like the Denver airport where there's like miles of underground tunnels that the Illuminati run, and they kind of have this facade of being a regular airport on top of it, but it's like really secretive. But I, it's, that's, yeah. a, that's an exclusive for Interesting. Comedy Bang Bang. Okay, well, that's great. Well, I'm, I'm learning so much about... Yeah. Uh, Toronto. Thank you for. Is that your hometown? I can't. Recall. That is my hometown. I was born in Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. Toronto. Toronto. That's right. And uh, uh, what are the people of Toronto like? Are they all like you? <laughs> yeah, they're they're nerdy, uh, dorky. I mean, basically those two things. We have terrible sports teams. Um, we really? get four seasons of weather, which is nice. Isn't there something like the Toronto Toronto Raptors? Yes, the Toronto. Toronto- Raptors are, uh, they're a basketball team in the National Basketball Association. Yes. Okay. And is that short for the Velociraptors or is yes, it Yes, just... I believe the official title is Velociraptors. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that must have been uh, a semi-new basketball team since the uh, Jurassic Park came it's, out in 1990. It was a semi-nude basketball team <laughs> when Jurassic now? Park came out. I, I think everyone is semi-nude. 
because I mean, we have to have like openings for our eye holes and ears a lot. Exactly. You know what I mean, like right now, my entire face is nude. Yeah, and it's uh, it's a little brazen, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, is it turning you on? A little bit. Can I ask you a question that Austin Powers once asked someone? Sure. Do I make you horny? Ooh, the accent nailed it. Yes, you do make me very horny, baby. Good, yeah. Good, 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 good. To answer like him. What else makes you horny? Ooh. Um, I find that when I step on a nail, I get a little turned on. Oh, um, really? So pain. Yeah, slam my thumb in the door. There's a fine line between pleasure and pain. Very fine line. If I really injure myself very badly, I get very turned on. What's the worst injury you've ever had? Ooh. Have you ever had like a foot cut off or anything? Yeah, I, I missed a foot at one point. Um, it just kind of went missing for I don't know a day or two. I had. I mean, that's the that's the trouble syndrome. is like yeah. they get up and walk around a lot. Yeah, You're like hey guys, come back here. I just thought like come back here with my foot, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I was stumping around and I no everybody no stumping to, oh, around. Shit. Bobby Brown. Get up on my back. When everybody's stomping around, nobody's stomping around. It's weird that he calls out for Whitney in the middle that of that. That was so weird. Whitney! Yeah, I don't know why he did that. that do, you was get, like, do you get me some baked beans? <laughs> That's his favorite. I love that he loves baked beans, because me too. I love, uh, hashtag me too. I love that he... <laughs> He talks about baked beans in so many of his songs. It's so weird. It's my baked beans. It's my baked beans. I can eat what I want to eat. My mm -hmm. baked beans. beans. Yeah. Um, it sounded for a long time I thought he was like singing my bacon beans. And I was like, yeah, that I'm doesn't like, make Come sense. On. That was like one of the great misheard lyrics. That's like lyrics. a classic like hold me closer Tony Danza yeah, situation. Or, Excuse me while I kiss this guy. Yeah, exactly. My baked beans. My baked beans. He says it like a Shakespearean yeah. actor. Yeah, well, he's baked trained. Beans. I think he went to theater school. Yeah, did he? Yeah, I think he went to Juilliard. All these theater kids. I Drake. Know. Yeah, Drake. Christina Aguilera, Bobby Brown. Yeah, big time thespians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speaking of big time thespians, Carter uh, stars a lot of them, and you're also in it, uh, which is incredible. Yeah. Uh, it comes out on WGN America August 7th. That's now, right. Uh, which... Carter verse is this? Is this the Michael Caine or Sylvester Stallone get Carter verse? Mm -hmm. Is this the John Carter of Mars verse? Is this is this the Jimmy Carter, Carter, the unstoppable sex machine verse. Jimmy Carter, Jimmy Carter verse. Yeah, the excited verse of Jimmy Carter. So this is a show basically about an elderly man going around and hammering things. Yeah, he loves building. It's like Bob the Builder for adults. Mm hmm. It's like Bob's Builders. Yes, but, but it's instead Jimmy. of Bog's Burgers. Bog Burger. Bog Burger. Mm. Bog Burger. Delicious Bog Burger. Uh, no, it is a detective procedural. Detective procedural. Now, yeah. does your were your responsibilities as Constable Johnstable uh, uh, sort of a, a good fodder for this show? Is this why you were hired? You know, one would think, but for. Maybe the first time and last time in my life, I am playing a former criminal or a former someone who's been on the wrong side of the wrong law. side of the yeah, law, and he's not a cop in this show. Not a cop. So you you have a lot of uh, experience playing cops. Yes, I can think of uh, Constable Johnstable. Yep, and that's it. And that's it. Yep. Uh, and uh, Ronnie over there on Arfin Black was uh, he was kind yep. of a, 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 a criminal in a way. That's true. I guess I've played so, a lot of criminals. Yeah. Well, I mean one. And now, and now two, yeah, and that's a lot. I mean, and then you were in that uh, other you were in that people. other movie. Uh, Let's go around and have an orgy. Which uh, yes, how to plan an orgy in a how, small town? Right. Yes. Which, uh, as uh, listeners of the show will recall, I walked out of. You walked uh, out within four, five minutes. Fifth, four, five, five minutes, minutes in. Somewhere and in I there. watched heartbroken as you waddled with a tight ass out of the <laughs> I was theater very sick. at the Arclight. <laughs> I was very ill. Did you make it to the the restroom? I don't know where uh, I ended up uh, doing it, but... <laughs> <laughs> How can you not remember that? I don't I mean, recall whether it was the Arclight or whether it was my own, uh, my own home. If you made it to your own home... Then I could have sat through the movie? You could, totally could have sat through the movie, <laughs> Scott. You hated the movie. Just admit it. Did I text you saying that, hey, I didn't walk out because I didn't like it? Or or did I just wait until the next time I saw you? <laughs> the the, the I think latter you waited. would be worse. I think it was the latter. Oh, God. I'm or so maybe sorry. like days later you texted me saying, hey, I got sick Yeah, well, to, from to, how bad the movie no, was. No, to your, to your credit. 
I wanted to see it so bad, even though I was sick, I came. It wasn't like an Ego's one-woman show situation. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, I really appreciate that, and um, I will make sure I email the whole cast and crew and let them know that. Please let them know. I would love to catch so up with that So I'm film. guessing you really wanted to see it, so you've seen it I've since. I've seen it on VOD. Yeah, yeah you've seen the whole I've, thing. So, <laughs> Of course. What did you think of it? Well, I mean, that nonstop fucking in for the last 45 <laughs> yeah. minutes was- It was a long fuck scene. Was uh, yeah. akin to an Austin Powers situation in the sense that it made me horny, baby. All right. Right. Well, you saw it. You mm-hmm. fucking saw it. This is great. So, Carter, you are a criminal, and uh, who's who, who are the, who's above the line in this? Okay, uh, so Carter is played by Jerry O'Connell. Oh, great! And friend he, of the show. And when I say that, show. I mean he's never been on it. Perfect. Let's keep it that way. Um, and Maybe once when I wasn't hosting, when I had a guest host. You what? Has that has that happened? That has happened early on in the run when uh, when it had to be recorded on Fridays at noon. Yeah. At the radio right. station, I occasionally could not be there because oh, of a, so gross. a big Hollywood job. I can't imagine this show without you, except if Jason Manzukas was sure. Hosting. Yeah, of course. Obvi- yeah, obviously. hopefully. Yeah, hopefully, obviously. when I perish, he will come in and yes, and marry and and marry cool yeah. up and take over all aspects of yeah. my life. <laughs> yeah, as well he should. Yes. Yeah. Um. So Jerry Jerry O C Jerry O C plays uh, a famous Hollywood detective. It's it's a this very exciting original trope. He plays this. Hollywood Wait, this is detective. Castle. It's not Castle. He's not an author. <laughs> he is a famous TV actor who plays a detective on TV. Has a falling out in Hollywood. 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 The fictional Hollywood. <laughs> then he goes back to his small town in Canada. So uh, like a shitty place. Yeah, a shitty. Come on. This is my country. You're arguing about. Um, he comes back to a small town and he reunites with his childhood and high school friends. Uh, one of which is me, who uh, ended up going onto the wrong side of the law. What does that mean in Canada? Is that like you? You're smuggling maple syrup. Um, you you don't say you're sorry a lot. You never you apologize. never say sorry. Mm-hmm. You kick beavers. The mm-hmm. regular stuff. Stuff like down here. Hey, when you're a star. They let you do it. Kick a beave. Um, so, uh... <laughs> hashtag kick a beave? <laughs> Please, don't start hashtag kick a beave when it comes to this show. We don't want that. Do it. I want you to apologize right now to our listeners. Sorry, beavers. Okay. Um, so, you're one of the friends, and then he starts investigating crimes. And... Well, so what happens is he comes back to his small town. It's called Bishop. Can we just, just say he starts investigating crimes and leave it at that? Do we have to get into But he hooks up with his, his former... F- Flame, um, played by Sydney Poitier Hartsong, who is Sydney Poitier's daughter. Yes, uh, fun from, fact. Uh, from uh, Death Proof. Yes, that's right. Mm-hmm. And uh, she is a detective in the small town. And I've she's... seen her feet. If you've seen Death Proof, oh, you've boy. seen her feet. Yes, thank you so much, <laughs> Quentin Tarantino, for your, <laughs> your love of feet. Fetish. Your <laughs> weird fetish. Friend of the show? Uh, not a friend of the show, oh, no. Damn. Although I did see him in a spa once. Oh, great. Did so you look at his fun. feet? I did. <laughs> did he have feet or did he, was he missing feet? No, they, feet? they were all walking around, yeah. Oh, he was shit. just sitting there on the massage table going, yeah. where are my feet? He's so British. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm Quentin Tarantino. Where are my feet? Piss off, cunts. It's really weird. Um, and so he comes back to the small town and he's trying to escape Hollywood life, but he's super famous tighten, and everybody's coming at up, he's, they're up. coming to him with their problems. And he's like, I'm just a TV detective, but he hooks up with the town's police department and Sydney plays. He hooks up with them. Yeah, everyone. He, he does everyone he in the police department, the police department and the building and the squad cars oh my and the criminals in the jail cells. Wow. And he's a real slut. Um, and so the three of us start solving. shame Jerry O'Connell. I'm not. I'm Slut shaming his character. Okay, that's yeah. fine. And the three of us start solving crimes in this small town, and it's a small town with way too many murders, but we keep solving them. Or so this do is we? A, I don't this know. Is a Jessica Spoiler Fletcher alert. situation where it's like Murder She Wrote Cove. meets Magnum PI, right? With meets, less exotic locations, but it's castle. beautiful. Meets Castle. It's, it's just not, it's Castle. It is not Castle. <laughs> Or Take Two, which just came out, which has an actress <laughs> hooking up with a private eye <laughs> and solving crimes in L.A. It is not Take Two! All right, all right. It's definitely not. Or The Mentalist. Okay, or The Mentalist. All right, so uh, you can watch this on WGN America, August 7th. Castle premieres yes. August 7th uh, on WGN America. WGN America, August just 7th. Just search C-A-S-T-L-E and it'll come it it'll pop right up. <laughs> Scott! It is not Castle. It is Carter. Carter. Yes. Carter. And what's your, and wh- who's your character? My character, uh, he is a lovable lout. 
Mm. Um, You've already said that. What's his yeah, name? He has a coffee truck. You don't know his name? No, I don't know his name. I don't <laughs> memorize the names of my characters, Scott. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Okay, this is good. His name is Dave Lee, Scott. Dave Lee? Dave Lee. L-E-I-G-H. Oh, okay. So it's a not, very Scottish I've, spelling. I, I was worried you were playing Asian. It was a Scarlett Johansson situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it is. And um, thank you for pointing that out. Okay. But it's like really good character work. Okay. Well, uh, very good. And great makeup. Uh, Carter is the name of the show. Carter, catch it. Catch it. Uh, WGN America, August 7th, coming up in a couple weeks here. So, yeah. Uh, getting, getting out ahead of the uh, press game here. I like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, Christian. Very good. Thank you for being here. Can I'm you so stick excited. around? I, yeah, I think I'll stick around. Yeah, we have other guests to talk to. Oh, great. They uh, have other projects. Uh, not. Uh, I mean, as prestigious as that i'm not sure i mean wgn america I, I, yeah i don't even know what any of that is i know what america is is what is wgn <laughs> it's a channel scott it's a channel they have their why own do, content why they, they make they their distinguish own it between international and america because like i get bbc america <laughs> yeah but it's because maybe they're gonna take over the world okay maybe okay. they're gonna have wgn canada Double right. G and Toronto. I don't know, and Scott. And this is a Canadian show? It is a Canadian show, oh, and okay. it's also produced by Sony. All right. Sony Television Pictures. Can we go over there to the Sony lot? Yeah. It's fun stuff over it's, there. It's a fun All set. All right, let's, let's get to our next guests. Uh, they are uh, famous pro athletes. Maybe they play for the Toronto Raptors! Toronto Raptors! We'll figure out exactly uh, whom they play for. Uh, please welcome to the show Erupt and Swetch. Hey, hey. Oh, what's up? How you doing? What's up? How you doing? Good. Hi. You guys have deep voices, or you do at least. What was your name? Yours? I'm your, Swetch. You're Swetch. I'm Swetch. That's a deep voice. Oh, thanks. Is that good? <laughs> Is that a good thing? I don't know. <laughs> what's up? I'm Erupt. You're Erupt. Yeah. Hello. How you welcome doing? to the show. This is Christian. Hey, hey guys. What's up, dude? Hey. I'm Scott. How's it going, Scott? Scott? Hey. Yeah, hey, what's up? Uh, nothing, not much is up. We're in the middle of a show, and yeah, you yeah. guys are on it. Yeah, yeah no, we're um, we're pro gamers. Yeah, we're pro gamers. We're actually the top. Which game ranked. do you play? Basketball, uh, football, baseball? Video games. Video games. Video games. Yeah, yeah we're pro video game players. Video yeah. games. Oh, okay. I, Did you say athletes? Yeah, I guess I got some oh. uh, wrong information. I mean, on the we card sweat here, when we play. So. It's a sport. Yeah. It's a sport. No, yeah, yeah. You're sweating right now, by the way. Yeah. You're just dripping. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't feel good. <laughs> There's no airflow in here. <laughs> yeah. Wait, are you watching the movie I watched? Well, that's why they call me Rupt. <laughs> I have terrible IBS. Oh, oh really? Oh. Yeah. I'm so sorry. No, yeah, it's all right. Um, now that's all I'm going to be able to think of when I look at you. I'm just thinking of your butthole and how itchy it must be. I will. Oh, wow. I'm going to run, take a shit right after the show. So. Okay, right after. Yeah. Okay, but you can you can handle. I can it. hang. I'm not going to walk out of a movie. Oh, thank you. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's no, classy. So. He always classy. watches movies all the way through. Yeah, yeah. All no, the way through. No matter what's going on. No matter down what's there. going on, even if it's sword. Fish. Into the credits. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go all Wait, the way through. Which, way, which way on swordfish? <laughs> Eating it or watching it? Watching it. Okay. <laughs> I will watch the fish. <laughs> I mean the movie Swordfish with Hugh Jackman. Oh right, right. Yeah, no, I'll watch that too. <laughs> Wasn't Halle Berry in that? She. Uh, yeah, she yeah. We. She, kn- she I don't gave, remember. We know what you're. I thinking don't remember. Of. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, she's sure trying you know. to code. They try to get him to code while she goes under the table. And Hugh Jackman's got his frosted tips. It's yeah, pretty cool. It's a good. Yeah. It's a good movie. Great movie. Um, but you guys like to eat swordfish? No, we, nah, we like nah, to play I don't know video what the games. Fuck you're talking <laughs> yeah. About. Uh, so you play video games. We're Welcome the to the show, guys. Thanks. We're Welcome. the top. Pr- Welcome. Hey, <laughs> we're pro gamers. You're pro right. gamers. Welcome to the show. All right, pro gamers. Thanks. We're the top. Erupt in yeah. sweat. Top yeah. ranked gamers in a game sweat. called uh, short for uh, hooded sweatshirt. Oh, okay. Oh. Maybe a uh, sweat. How how would you spell that? Sweat. S W E A T C H. Why not just sweat? Because you guys do that a lot when you play. Not, yeah, sweat is a little cuter. Sweat is like it is cuter. Mm. Sweat sounds like an abbreviation. Right. Sweat right. is yeah, just yeah. its own yeah. freestanding word. Right. Yeah. right. So it's sweat with a CH at the end. Yeah, like sweatshirt. <laughs> like, well, I mean, sweatshirt, if you were to, it's sweat with I know the with letters a, are different, but you get that sound. If you're saying hooded sweatshirt, you get that sweat. Shouldn't it be S W E A T S H? Sweat shirt. Yeah, but the CH gives it that sort of slicey... Slicey sort of dicey. Slicey, okay. It's, it's your hard. nickname. It's your nickname. <clears throat> well, my welcome to the name. show, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Um, yeah, so we're the top-ranked players in the Battle Royale game Dub Tub. 
You know, you know what we're talking about? Uh, I don't. Do, how is that spelled? It's DBTB. DBTB. It stands for Dairy Baby's Top Battle. It's like Fortnite. I don't know if you ever you played Fortnite. Fortnite. Oh, yeah, I know Fortnite. PUBG. Uh, PUBG yeah. yeah, that's like that. that uh, children play that, right? Yeah, it's a battle children, royale. Children, adults. Yeah, lots of people play that. Uh, but mainly the when I when I've heard about it, it's been like my nephew will be playing it with a bunch of kids. All right, so you heard about one kid that's your nephew. There's other people. And that's the only kid. Adults, the everybody only to, kid yeah. I know. Do you assume that all the kids who play it are your nephew? Hey, well, I wouldn't be surprised. Really? Hey, when we have like pro gaming competitions, there's a lot of adults in the audience. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, and how long have you been playing video games? Uh, a long time. Like 10, 30, 30, 30 years. 30, 10, 30 10 years. 10 to 30 years. Yeah, it feels like yesterday. You know, so, when we started. Somewhere in that range. Somewhere between 10 and 30. And how old of a gentleman are you currently? Uh, I'm, uh, Don't look at each other. <laughs> 30. I'm 38 See, years now this old. See, now this is something that Carter would do in uh, in the new series, Carter. He would split he up the suspects. He would have detected something there. Yeah, he would say, like, they, he's got to interview suspicious. them separately. We yeah. want to make sure we're not lying, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. So how old are you? I'm 38. 38? Yeah. And 37. 37. And how did you guys become friends? We're brothers. Oh, you are? Oh, yeah. okay. What's yeah. your last name? Stokey. Stokey. Okay, great. Uh, eru- Sweat Stokey and Erupt Stokey. Erupt, yeah. We're on a squad uh, mm. together called Surgeon with a couple other guys. That, is that like Urgent with an S? That's like Insurgent. Like insurgent with, without the I-N. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Got it. Um, an apostrophe in front of it. Oh, uh-huh. cool. That's very cool. Um, so, and and what is dub dub tub? Dairy, you said dairy? Dairy, dairy baby. Baby's He's a modder. battle. Dairy yeah. Baby's a modder. It's a battle royale game, basically, where a hundred children under the age of twelve are dropped on an island, okay. and they have to kill each other. And the last person alive, the last child alive, wins. Wins. The wins. Round. Wins around. Okay, the so round. it's like a Lord of the Flies type of situation. Is it based yeah, on the TV a- show The One Hundred? I don't. I don't know what, what is that. Oh. What's The One Hundred? It's like a bunch of children dropped onto a planet, like a hundred. It's like it sounds exi- like so much. The Do they same. have to kill each other? Do they have to like shoot each other? I didn't get past the first five minutes, so I oh, don't okay. know. Did you have to take a shit too? Yeah, I had an I had an eruption <laughs> and an eruption uh, <laughs> to mix you guys together, yeah. and then I left the show <laughs> mm-hmm. to just explode. So, but these these kids kill each other. How do they kill each other? With guns. There's like guns it's all like over guns, the island. Knives. Oh, uh, so it's like a Hunger Games meets Lord of the Flies. Kind it's of a situation. battle royale. You know, it's sort battle of a royale, paramilitary. Yeah. You get flak jackets. You oh, get wow. like Molotov and, uh, cocktails. You mm-hmm. can get in cars, tricycles. Yeah, you can uh, hit people. Why with not a- bicycles? Are these kids not old enough to to be able to do two wheels? I think it's funny or something. Then. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's like whimsy. There's it's whimsical whimsy. elements. Yeah. It's whimsy. Yeah. Okay, got you it. You can touch wheat. You can like walk through a wheat field and touch <laughs> the wheat. Oh wow! Yeah, that sounds fun. But there's also real guns. You got the AR-15, you got the Scar L. You got uh, the Ump Nine. Yeah, you got the uh, 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 AKM. Mm. You got the M416A. Like a four optic, like a and four you got times the scope. Yeah, you got the four times scope. You got the sights, the uh, holograph. You got like a stun grenade. You yeah. can like stun. Children and then like shoot them in the chin. You can do whatever you Why want. Why not shoot them first? We shoot like them. It, it cuts out the middleman. Well, or, if or they're running, need- if they're if they're like in a room or something, hiding in a corner, you throw you throw a stun grenade in, right? And then you can run in. Okay, I you guys seem to know a lot about weapons. Is that from the game? That's from the we're game. gamers. Yeah, yeah we're, we're gamers. gamers. Do you use these in real life as well? Uh, we're like we own com- guns yeah. in real life. We're cosplayers yeah, we're- too, so we'll buy a gun and take it to like. We go you to know. conventions. We go to gaming conventions. You're not taking gun real guns to, to. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, to, we go to gun conventions. We do a thing with. Uh, 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 we're gonna, you know, we, we do like a fun Q and A thing with uh, Maria Butina, uh, where we like shoot the, the Russian guns. spy. Yeah. Was just arrested. Yeah, she's a Russian nationalist. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah. Um, Did you guys hear? Have you been reading the news lately? We not saw really. Well, okay. Well. <laughs> Well, I saw some of the news. Oh, you did? Yeah. What did you see? What did you see? I, I saw she got, like, arrested or something like that. Yeah, right? she got arrested yeah. for being a Russian spy and trading sex for... Uh, it's ridiculous. She traded sex? She traded it, yeah. For what? What? For uh, access to uh, certain things. She didn't have sex with she's us. She's still trading? Yeah. <laughs> she's not. She didn't know. Okay. She's out of the business, okay, I believe. Okay, just checking. She had sex with you? She didn't have sex with me. 
Well, she's supposed to show up at a convention. So I don't. I, she may she, not. Yeah, I don't think she will be. Uh, she's, well, she's pretty wily. I think she'll. Do <laughs> you think she'll escape? Yeah, I think she'll get it. Yeah, she trades. We have a contract with her, so. Yeah, we do. Hmm. Okay. So, what happens at these conventions? You bring weapons to them, and you you talk to people, do Q and As. We give and, like tips and tricks on games, and hmm. you know, and then we fire real weapons. Uh, <laughs> And uh, at, at what? Into the air. Into the air <laughs> yeah. and like at like car. You know, we do like, you know, can a bullet go through styrofoam? Can a bullet yeah. go through cardboard? Yeah. Can a bullet go through metal? You know, we sort of like mm. have different materials and uh, <laughs> <It's> <laughs> over, just over 30 start, materials. Start with the metal because that's the first one that I'm sort of iffy on whether it can. Yeah, be. You, yeah, but it's fun to see, you know, you know. I guess so. You know a bullet goes through styrofoam, but not everybody, you know. <laughs> Right. Okay. I guess so. So, uh, uh, Dubtub, uh, for for I guess we must have listeners who have played this. You guys are the best at it. We're the best. We're ranked number one and number two. Who's yeah. one and who's two? Well, uh, he's number one currently, but we keep going back and forth. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Well, Do you guys yeah. team up? A lot of times when you're playing, we're in a squad for- we're together. Squad. It's called Surgeon. Two mm-hmm. of our Remember? good friends. Uh, one's called uh, this one guy called Disloyalty, and the other guy's name is Artifice. Okay, cool. You wouldn't find like squad with great guys. Yeah, great guys. Disloyalty, you know, he's always got your back. He's always got your back. (laughs) And Artifice. Artifice, he's the most upfront guy you'll meet. (laughs) Take him at face value. Yeah, true. Always. So they're really cool guys. (laughs) Yeah, they sound great. Yeah. And And so we're going on this like, we're going on this gaming tour. Right now with our squad, we're like, we face other squads, mm. you know, and we're here. Give to, tips and tricks. Yeah, do okay. Q&As and stuff what like that. What are these that. tips and tricks? What are some of the tips and tricks that you guys do? Well, uh, let's say you're trying to kill, you know, somebody on the move running. You mm-hmm. know, you got to lead. You got to put your reticle in front of the target. You got to lead your target. Mm. Let's say uh, you're on, like, the Dwarfa map, right? Sure. And there's, like... Section like A14, right? There's like this little like concrete on the map lit. grid. On, on the, the grid, map sure, grid. Yeah, yeah. Like this it's like it's like the old Thomas guides. Do you know what those are? <laughs> yeah, you guys yeah. are 38 and 37. <laughs> sure. I would imagine yeah. you would know what a Thomas guide. Yeah, but we didn't live in Los Angeles in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go to auditions in the 90s. No, no, no Scott. Not everybody had uh, your exact experience. <laughs> Anyway, but so I get a grid. I understand. You get a grid. grid. Yeah, A uh, and then fourteen. Right, and there's this like little concrete lip which you can like get prone. You can behind. wedge yourself under it. Yeah, oh, sort okay. of. You get you get stuck there. You can't move after that. But but if it you give, hide there, if, yeah, you, you can, get at least top five. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Interesting. So yeah. those are good. And you t- when you say you tour, what do you mean? You're there's going- this tour. It's the Jack. Uh, Jack Link's Teriyaki K Cup Capcom tour. Wait, Jack Link's Teriyaki K Cup? Yeah, it's yeah. it's uh, a K- coffee K Cup and K Cup and Jack Link's have, <laughs> and have, have combined. And, and and teriyaki's its own company yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Teriyaki's is, it's a flavor. It's a flavor. It's a licensing operation that licenses the flavor. That's the right. flavor of teriyaki. And, uh, so it's what's Jack Link's? That's uh, that's like a beef, beef, jerky, beef jerky, salmon jerky, deer teriyaki. Jerky. I, I get teriyaki jerky. No, not teriyaki. It's just teriyaki the flavor. <laughs> right. Yes. But yeah. Jack Link's got jerky. in a dispute with teriyaki. teriyaki. They can't make a teriyaki flavor anymore. Yeah. They thought they could just use teriyaki. So, no. So I'm sorry. It's jerky. And then teriyaki, teriyaki the, coffee? Teriyaki the flavor. The flavor. And then K-Cups. Yeah. And also Capcom. Just the technology that makes the K-Cups? Uh, K-Cups. Uh, like just, the just the empty cups. Just the empty Keurig cups. Oh, so this the is reusable the, ones. That's the right. food okay. with, so the food is stored within these reusable cups? Is no, it's trying? just empty cups. It's just, it's Wet just the sponsor, the sponsor is cup. this intermediate point on the Keurig oh, supply so they're not, chain. they're not combining these things. No, no. These no. are all just the sponsors. Separate sponsors. These are okay. separate sponsors. Got it, got it, got it. And Capcom, you know, the video game company, but they make hats now. They do. Yeah, so wait, Jack Links and Teriyaki are in a dispute over That's whether right. they, but they're partnering up on this. They really don't want to, you know, get sidelined on that. Right. I mean, I feel okay. like we're. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, yeah, I'm let's sorry. talk You're about right. the actual. Yeah. Tour. Jack Links did made teriyaki jerky. Yeah. Teriyaki 
is its own company that holds the patent on the flavor. <laughs> on the flavor. And they profile. sued Jack Links. And so they had to take no all the teriyaki. They had to wash all the jerky. <laughs> they washed it. They, didn't, it. they just didn't they throw it They washed it off and repackaged it. Uh, yeah, I guess that's a waste of jerky if you just throw those in the trash. So if, they you wa- look, if you go to the store now, all the Jack Link's teriyaki packaging just has uh, black electrical tape <laughs> over the word teriyaki. Interesting. And, and every, all the teriyaki looks wet? It's soaking wet. It's soaking right. wet. It's wet and it's... Uh, and it's you plain know, now. Yeah, it's, it's plain, plain and it's, it's just wet. Plain. And there's like a, a sort of a... Black algae growing. So it's not even jerky; it's just beef. It's reconstituted it's jerked, beef. Right? Well, yeah, right, because they beef. had to make it so wet, yeah. it probably sprang the, back oh, to life. Yeah, yeah, it became beef saying. again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. It became beef again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a little beef. fatter. It's a little thicker. Yeah. <laughs> well, this sounds great, guys. So you're on tour. We're on tour. Yeah, and we've made like a promise to a lot of our fans. It's it's like the jank. Uh, well, it's like the Jack Links. Um, joint suicide pact. What's that now? We said, well, it's it's the L- JLJS basically. Oh, that we, sounds cool. Yeah, but, we've uh, made this like pact that if we e- either of us fall under five, on uh, like the ranked, the, five. Uh, the ranked five, we're gonna do a joint s- suicide pact. In the game, we've done a pact. You, you guys do it in the game. How does that no, help? No, real in life. Real life. If we if our we squad put ourselves falls on the line, we're gonna do. A joint suicide. A live uh, online suicide. Live yeah. online. Live oh, online. God, yeah. That's dark. That's. Ho- that's uh, well, we're, yeah. we're never going. We're we're the top ranked. Yeah, like, we're that's top. the promise. Yeah, it's but bullshit. you just announced on the show yeah. how to hide, and just hide under a piece of Hiding concrete and become five. fists. Yeah. One trick. So what if all it's the just people one you, trick? Yeah. And you guys are giving we didn't tips away and all tricks the tips away. All your followers are going to start doing. I don't think we gave away all the tips and tricks, did we? No, we got some more. We got more tips and tricks. Have you? Do you? You're not going to trick us now. Have, have you guys checked in on the rankings since you've been doing the show? I mean, uh, you've been away from the the, the consoles. Well, we, here. We, uh, I mean, no, we haven't. We've been we're like we're, we're dating a lot right now. You're um, dating a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have haven't been playing all that much. <laughs> Yeah, we should probably check in on those rankings. Wait, wait, I want to hear about the dates, though. You guys are dating a lot? <laughs> We're going out a lot. <laughs> we got girlfriends. Hey, My boy's congrats. embarrassed. Yo, why are you embarrassed I don't right know. now? You're making bashful. me red and shit. You guys are dating. Yeah, we're dating. Are these the f- the uh, uh, first girlfriends you've ever had? Or I don't uh, know why I would assume no, that. No, come they're on. just like, you know, when you're on tour, you know, you got a lot of, like, chicks coming up to you who are who might be a little bit, you know, fat. Famous. Are you talking about Maria Bettina? <laughs> well, right no, now? I'm Maria Bettina and I. Uh, my boy, tell, tell him. Tell him who you're dating. About, <laughs> tell me. We're talking about... <laughs> please tell me. Yo, what are you... What is this? <sighs> Come on. Come on, don't be shy. Joey Laurie Adams and Lo- Claire Forlani. Jo- Joey Lauren <laughs> Adams from from the <laughs> from, Chase, from Chasing Kevin Smith Amy. From Chasing yeah. Amy. Wow. And I'm all dating. Rats. Yeah, and Claire, Claire Forlani. Forlani from shout out to Meet Joe Black. Yo. Meet Joe Black. Yeah, yeah. they're all wow. in mall rats. They're yeah, they're all in mall rats. They're all That's in mall right. rats. Wow. Um, and and you and so they still hung, hang out together and they go to your tour. Yeah, and yeah they, they hang yeah. out. They come over to the house. You know, wow. they hang out, watch this fucking game. Yeah. Are they gamers? Uh, Why are they going to these gaming conventions? There, uh, I guess they're like we met them at like a know. signing or something after. Or something yeah, I don't like know. That. We didn't really ask. Them. Yeah, they, they signed a lot of all rats signature. Shit and, yeah, they just hang out still. Yeah. They they were on the tour as professionals, or or they were watching what? you. No, I, why were they all there at the tour? I think it was they like a signing out. or something. You guys have not talked to your girlfriends about they this? They still have like <laughs> Aniston haircuts and sort of black 90s lipstick and... Cool. Yeah. Well, it, it was like a signing. They come as a pair, You know, pair, we do I signings think. after. Yeah. Like we signed the game or something or yeah. t-shirts and they yeah, were we signing signed Mall like, Rats merchandise. <laughs> you signed Mall Rats? <laughs> they, they were. <laughs> they <laughs> were. That's yeah. what I'm saying. They were on another table. That's what I'm saying. They were there at the convention signing as professionals. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. Why did you look so confused? Confused by my question, I don't know. switch. <laughs> okay, well this <laughs> this sounds great, guys. Yeah, um, should we check the rankings? Yeah, I mean, have you haven't checked there? You've been out there dating with Claire and, and Joey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dating. You know, <laughs> what do you do on we dates with these practicing. girls? Practicing. Well, they come over a lot. They come you know? over. They watch this game. Yeah. We heat up uh, burritos. Yeah, we're living in our parents' We still bedroom, live in our right? parents' yeah. house. Yeah. Parents' bedrooms, you said? Yeah, well, yeah. we move. A lot of people live in their parents' basement. We live in our parents' bedroom. 
So we like we, we forced our parents to we move to the, the house. basement. We forced them down to the basement. <laughs> oh, okay, you know, cool. It sucks for them, you know. Like I'm trying to get like I'm trying to build like a, a little door, you know, for them to like so they don't feel like they have to walk through my part of the house. Right, a little know? door where in the like in there in the basement, so they can walk in and out of the basement whenever right, they want. It sucks because a lot of my friends like to kick their ass and like you know <laughs> like to hurt them. And, oh like, God! <laughs> wow. So, so like I, I just hmm. So you know, the Stokies are 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 getting beat up constantly in their their yeah. previous house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still their house. The house they they, yeah, they, they raised moved children. A lot of their in. Stuff. They like, moved a lot of their stuff. We still have the their bedside tables. Their night tables. Yeah. We still have moms. <laughs> Why did you keep those? Mom's hand creams and stuff are in the tables, so she has to come up at night and, <laughs> Why? and get it. Just move them downstairs. Nah, nah, nah. nah. nah, nah. It's like a power move. Yeah. Kind of thing. Okay, got yeah. it. Mom's got to come up, put her hand creams. But don't wake me up. Don't wake me up. Yeah, we go to bed early. Yeah. What time? We go to bed before Nine. our parents. Nine. <laughs> Nine p.m. Nine. Mom's got to come up in her nightshirt and put the. Yeah, I'm hand just cream warning all over you. Herself. Don't wake me up. <laughs> yeah. Just warning you. Do you have separate beds or still the same bed that your parents? It's two maybe a separate bed. twin beds. It's a sleep okay. number bed. Yeah. That's two of them. <laughs> you guys are such interesting fellows. Uh, the Stokey brothers and your parent and you're one year apart. <laughs> One year yeah. apart. That, wow. So the Stokies, they were really using well, their bed. We're really twins, actually. What does that mean? He was left in the womb for over like 10 months. Left what? behind. Left behind. Yeah. No. Child. First Fahey. child left behind. Yeah. yeah. No, just yeah. that. No, you can't leave a man behind. I mean, I'm sure you guys know that from Dub Dub. Well, you know, it's sort of like jerky if you think about it. In what way? If you put a little water on it, it starts to get. It just reconstitutes it, itself. So, yeah. so 10 months in. You came out of the womb, and you put got a little water put on you, and you became a real baby. So, but but my, I guess what I'm wondering is, is why are you? You count your age from when you came out of the vagina, not from when you were conceived. Doesn't everybody? I guess you count so. From yeah, when you most, were most people do. Well, no, but I, w- what I mean to say is, is like sometimes if a baby is premature, uh, they. Where do you see his life starting, uh, Scott? Obviously, at conception. Life begins. Obviously, at conception. No, it's just sometimes hard to gauge a, a premature baby's age because. They or post mature. They are, uh, you know, they seem their 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 birth age is older than their, you know, their size. Right. Sometimes. You mark it from when your toes, when your toes come the, out, the exit the cervix. Okay. Well, what if you're head first? Then you mark it from your cowlick, <laughs> like your alfalfa cowlick. <laughs> okay. So so you so you're a year apart, but you're actually that that I I guess I wondered why you looked so similar. Yeah. But. No, it's we're uh, we're bro- I mean, we'd look similar if we were brothers, but twins. Yeah, we're very, very close. Yeah, very close. Very close. We're very close. <laughs> yeah, Shut very the close. fuck up! What are you doing? <laughs> you're gonna be like you're gonna fuck me or okay, something? Hey, guys, guys. Jesus <laughs> Christ! You're on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, guys. Look. Anyway, we got the Jack Links. Terry, come on! He's trying up. to move on. Okay. He's trying yeah, to go so somewhere. Well, I'm trying to go to a break. I mean, I'm sure there's more to talk to you guys sure, about. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, we, yeah, we do yeah, need yeah, to go yeah, to a break yeah. if that's okay. Sure, yeah. But the Jack Links, Teriyaki, K Cup, Capcom, Capcom who make hats now? What kind of hats? Fedoras or what do they do? Like little baseball hats. Little ones? Like yeah, little like ones. for ice cream. <laughs> The so ones that you would turn upside down and do a soft serve in? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to come right back. Uh, we have more from Christian here. Uh, we also have more from Erupt and Swetch. And uh, also coming up, we have a famous telenovela star. Uh, this is very exciting. Raul De La Mantra will be here. Uh, we'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> What if that made everyone just instantly fall asleep? What if I had that power? What a great way to find out. Suddenly, every Comedy Bang Bang listener just instantly fell asleep no matter what they were doing. I pray none of you are driving. Um, No, sleep. Let's talk about it. We all have to do it, don't we? I think so. Is there anyone out there who's never slept? I wonder. Um, A quality night's sleep, it's great. It helps you recover from distractions faster. It helps prevent burnout. It helps people make better decisions. It sometimes can improve people's memories. And just overall, it helps you prevent mistakes from happening in your life. You got to get a good night's sleep. It's not, this, this, by the way, is not marketing. This is science. Science! 
Science! Sleep. (laughs) So, to design a better mattress to help with sleep, what Lisa did is they leveraged 30-plus years of experience. That's interesting that Lisa has been around 30 years, or maybe they just have the experience. You know how when people combine, they say, like, our law firm has combined 380 years of experience because they, like, have 38 people who have been practicing law for 10 years? I wonder if Lisa's pulling that trick, or have they been around for 30 years, or do they have, like, 30 employees who have been around a year? We'll never know. But they averaged 30-plus years of experience and hundreds of hours of testing to develop the perfect mattress for all body shapes and sleeping styles. Lisa's mission is to provide a better night's sleep for everybody. For everybody. So that they, they know what they're doing when it comes to sleep. And through their 110 program, they donate a mattress for every 10 they sell. That's more than 26,000 mattresses and counting. So they've sold 26,000 mattresses. Is that what I'm getting from Lisa? That doesn't seem like a a lot to sell for a business. (laughs) Hey, Lisa, whatever you got going, it seems to be working. Uh, Lisa strives to leave the world better than they found it, but that it doesn't just stop with the mattress donations. Together with the Arbor Day Foundation, Lisa plants one tree for every mattress they sell, and they are committed to planting one million trees by 2025. By the way, it sounds like uh, Lisa sold 260,000. I got my math wrong. So that's still... Call me when you've, when you've sold a million mattresses. Like, remember when that was up on McDonald's? Like, a million burgers sold when I was a kid. It was like a million burgers. Now it's just like billions and billions. But, Lisa, congrats on your 26... 260,000. We're getting two in the weeds about this. Sleep. Lisa mattresses, they're great. I have one. Knocks me right out. Knocks me out when I get on it. Very comfy. Wouldn't uh, want to go to sleep without it. And don't miss these summer savings. You can get $160 off a Lisa mattress at lisa.com slash bang bang. That's lisa, L-E-E-S-A dot com slash bang bang for $160 off. Lisa, a better place to sleep. (laughs) Ding dong, the witch is dead. Oop, that's the wrong ding dong song. I mean, ding, ding dong. Wait, what am I trying to sing? Wedding season is upon us. Ding dong, the witch is dead. <laughs> weddings. They, they, people love summer weddings. They, uh, we're, we're through May. People love May weddings. But uh, I tell you, I got married in September. A lot of people getting married during the summer and in September. Um, and when you're going to a wedding, you want to look great, don't you? And if you're bringing a date, you want to look fresh. And that is where the blacktux.com comes in. This is where they come into the picture here. Because what the blacktux.com <laughs> does is it lets you rent awesome suits and tuxedos in all sorts of styles. All styles. They all have pants, though, I would imagine. Um, all sorts of suits and tuxedos in all styles, and you can rent them online. This is the key part of what the blacktux.com does. You don't have to go into the tux shop. You don't have to uh, like go into that weird store on the corner that has ancient tuxedos from the 70s, and that's all they have. The blacktux.com has current, fresh, fashionable styles, and you get the, you get it completely online. With the Black Tux, you can take your style to the next level in funky, cool options such as the Emerald Shawl Tuxedo, and you can blow it out for your big one-time event. Wow. Crazy. Also, they have free home try-on. You can feel the fit and quality of the suit months before your event. So here's how it works. You order whatever you want to wear. Okay, and it doesn't arrive the day of where you're like, where's my tuxedo? (laughs) I have to go soon. No, your suit is going to arrive 14 days before your event. And if anything, you try it on, if anything is less than perfect, the black tux, they're going to send you a replacement right away. So you put on your tux, you show up to your event, you wear it, 
you turn heads, and then you just send this back three days later. It's that easy. Shipping, it's even free both ways. This is super easy peasy. It's the way to do it. I have friends who uh, have ordered from the Black Tux. I've always said, like, what I for years I said there should be a rent the runway type thing for men for tuxedos because I was tired of having to every single time I went to go to an event or something I would rent a tuxedo and I I've, I've told this story many times they gave me pants with holes in them and I didn't notice it until right before I went crazy the blacktux.com it's not going to happen to you that way to get twenty dollars off your your purchase. Visit theblacktux.com slash bangbang. Okay, that's theblacktux.com slash bangbang. You're going to get $20 off your purchase. The Black Tux premium rental suits and tuxedos delivered. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here. Christian Brun is here. Go ahead and pour that. You were about to pour, and then I, was, I came back from break, and you yep, you wasn't, very nicely. There was no warning sorry, that you were coming back from break. Sorry. I wouldn't know about apologies. Yeah. Um, we also have Erupt and Swetch uh, hey, yo, yo. Stokey uh, from uh, the uh, DubTub uh, rankings. Uh, they're number one and number two, or at least they were uh, before they started dating Claire Forlani and Joey Lauren Adams from Mallrats, <laughs> um, who are still rocking the Jennifer Addison cuts and the black lipstick from the 90s. Um, and uh, they're, they, you have not checked your rankings uh, during the break, is that nah. correct? No, we have not. You've not no, checked. It. Okay, nah. well, maybe we'll do that at some point. But we yeah, do I'm need curious. to get yeah, to. I'm really like curious. Driving about towards it or something. Yeah, uh, we do need to get to our next guest. He is a telenovela star. Uh, please welcome to the show Raúl de la Mantra. Hola, hola, hola. Bienvenidos todos. We're very well. I, I think that means no. That means welcome. Hello. Oh, welcome. welcome. Welcome all of us. Bienvenidos todos. Mm, Thank okay. you. Raul de la Mancha. Raul de la Man- Mancha. Mancha, like Don Quixote. Oh, you said Mancha because <laughs> no, I'm pretty. S- I, yeah, I said Mancha. Okay. What I, did you think I said? I thought you said Mantra. Oh, Raul when, de la when, Mantra. When, I thought your producer, my producer said man- Mantra. Well, Bienvenidos would be my mantra. Ah, I got it. Okay. okay. Wow. Welcome wow. To- estoy aquí. Mira. Estoy aquí en Comedia Pum Pao. Comedy Bang Bang, pero en Spanish. Yes. Comedia Pum Pao. Com- Comedia oh. Pum Pao. Pum Pao. Bang Bang Pum Pao. Pum Pao. Eso, mira. Uh, welcome to the show, Raul. Gracias. What, uh, what telenovela are you on? I am a telenovela que se llama Amor, Sexo, Ratoncitos. <laughs> Amor, sexo, what was the last word? Ratoncitos. Gratoncitos. Ratoncitos. Gratoncitos. No, no G. Ratoncitos. Ra- ratoncitos. So, mira. What in is English, ra- it what? means amor, love, love. sexo, sex. sex. Yeah. Ratoncitos, tiny mice. Tiny, <laughs> tiny what? Tiny mice. Mice? Mice, mice. Like the little, m- yeah, like, like a rato. plural Raton, of mouse. Ratoncito, like a, yeah, oh, tiny oh, okay. mice. So, love, sex, and tiny mice. And tiny mice. <laughs> yes. What an interesting show. I, yes. what, what are the plots on this show? Well, it's a bit of, it's a, it's a magical realist show mm. where I am, I play the mayor of a town, mm. Juan Vega. That's the town or the mayor? That's the mayor. Okay. He's a small mayor of a town. He's a small mayor? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. But you're a tall person, so right. how, do, how does that work? CGI, Scott. <laughs> oh, it's all Very CGI. high budget in Mexico. Okay, yeah. M- maybe some uh, forced perspective exactly. tricks, stuff like that. But he falls in love with a ratoncito, a small woman who has been turned into a mouse. <laughs> he falls in love with a small woman. So she starts small and gets smaller? Correct. She meets a witch and then she turns her to a mouse. And who 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 plays <laughs> this woman? Uh, Estefania ba, uh, ba, uh, Rodriguez. Stephanie, Stephanie Rodriguez. Yeah, okay. Estefania Rodriguez. Okay. And, uh, the she, most famous actress in Tolo del Este. She's also very tall. See, si, yes. Why cast these? Oh, well, I guess, uh, like, why not just start the characters as tall? It's part that of would this. be the easier part than trying to cast a small person. I am solo un actor, Scott. I'm not a writer, okay? I do not know mm. why they decided to do that, but mm. okay? okay? All right. Very good. Well, so it's very, it sounds like a very interesting show. So you do a lot of scenes with a with a real mouse? Well, or? no, it's a CGI mouse, CGI Scott. mouse. Uh, well, and, you're, yeah. and you're CGI as well. Yeah, I'm just CGI <laughs> to be shorter than I really am. Okay. And yes, but you know, they do. How do they do that? They CGI your legs or your entire body? Yes. It's a framing device. It's got, 
they mm. take the they put the me close to the camera, but then they, we have a set that is like big, right? Right. Yeah. So forced perspective. Exactly. Stuff. Yeah. Right. But but you mentioned it was CGI. So mm-hmm. how does that <laughs> right. come into play? The CGI is my feet away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That, okay. that happens. Yes. It happened to Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You run right away. Okay, so they make you shorter by just chopping off mm-hmm. your feet. And Got yes, it. But it is very interesting to, is it? as an actor, to be, you know, so the mouse is played by a tennis ball until they are able to CGI the mouse, right? Got it. And he's mm-hmm. like, I, how do I love this tennis ball? I do not know. You, you so know you, you have to act like you're in love with a tennis mm-hmm, ball, and this is and, the ratoncito, right? And it makes you wonder if you're in love with a tennis ball. Sometimes I go to Dick's Sporting Goods or a, a Big Cinco, and I think to myself, <laughs> "Do I love all the balls in here, la pelotas?" Well, there's a lot of them. See, si. you know. So mm-hmm. I mean, like you could have just a good old fashioned orgy with, uh, you know, as many tennis balls as there are in a Big Cinco. Uh, yeah, that's true. Would you mm-hmm. t- tell me, Scott, if I made a movie where I was doing an orgy with a tennis ball, would you stay through the whole thing or I go shit I'm your brains out? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure. So, I mean, uh, it's. I, I guess that's a challenge as an actor to uh, have to work with uh, see, something see. that's not there. I mean, uh, the original Jurassic Park was one of the first instances that I can think of that. Um, they they put all of the velociraptors, mm. which can be shortened see, see, see. as raptor. Yeah. Uh, all of those were CGI. Yeah, they shortened the name Velociraptor to Raptor using CGI. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. Yes. Actually, CGI. used a lot of practical effects in the first Jurassic Park. Yeah, but it was a mixture. Right. Was it not? Yeah. You sound like you're correcting me when I say they use CGI. You said you remember the Raptors. All of those were CGI. Well, th- all of them were at times CGI, were they not? There oh, wasn't oh, ever oh, okay. one that was not CGI at certain points. There were practical raptors. They were practical sometimes, but occasionally, but but more often than not, they were CGI. All right, all right. All, right. all of the raptors wait, were you, CGI. Did you have points. to chime in? <laughs> <You're> fe- <laughs> I thought it'd be a quick chime in. He's fencing me in now with like some weird logic. I have a it's question. not weird. <laughs> yes. So the practical raptors. Have you guys seen that show on True TV called Impractical Raptors? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. So this is. Uh, have you guys seen this show, Swetch Christian? Impractical raptors. What was your name? Erupt. Erupt. No, uh, his show. Um, the um, amor. 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 So, Ratoncito. 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 I auditioned for it three times. Wow. Which yeah. part did you th- did you read for? The Hedgehog. The Hedgehog. Mm. Oh wow. Sonic. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Harry. Harry the Hedgehog. Ha- okay. Harry. Are, uh, how do you say Harry eso. in Spanish? Harry. Ha- Harry. Harry. Es como es la es, es in the back of your mouth. Harry. Harry. So, so you auditioned, but you didn't get the part? I, you know, I didn't get the part. I had three auditions for it. I went down to producers, hmm. and I guess the biggest issue was I don't speak Spanish. So oh, yeah. I had trouble with the script and the acting part of that. Right. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. But, but I got like you got all a way chemistry through. test. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's just how good you are. I guess. Yes, when I've got that look. You right? have trouble with the acting. Yes, you know, but they still sell you. you you've said that producers. oftentimes. We, so. we, yeah. haven't, we haven't seen it, but we're sponsored by mice. Oh, which which mice? mice? Ro- uh, it's called rock hard mice. They're like you know, like a mo- mouse like a gaming that, mouse, like a gaming mouse. Oh, like a like a, a computer mouse? Yeah, yeah. Like a computer is that what you're talking about? Yeah. In my show, no. It's like a gaming mouse. That is a thing that I understand conceptually, but <laughs> it is not in this instance what I am talking about. You sound like a vampire. <laughs> no. No? No, no you don't sound no. like a vampire. I'm sorry. No, My mistake. My Yo mistake. No, no, soy un vampiro. My mistake. Uh, so you, you're, you're sponsored by... Rock hard mice. They're like these, like, sort of like the Swiss it's Army. It's a souped up gaming souped mouse. Up gaming mouse. It's got like a knife connected to it, like a little hammer. It's got a bunch of buttons. Yeah. Yeah. It, it why? was designed by Michael Bay. And it's why got would like you need a knife tr- in a computer mouse? Uh, just in case someone fucks with you, you know? You can like, use the cord to like tie your tie It's still your a corded off. mouse. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's not a cord. It's got an extra cord. Yeah. Do you, you know can what use it to tie like off Like a your, garroting cord? You can use it to tie off your neck and. There's like a little drawer in the mouse. And you pull it open, there's a little lemon wedge in there. And you can <laughs> For use, espresso? No. <laughs> or cake cups. <laughs> To to asphyxiate yourself. To asphyxiate. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, part yeah. of the process it's of. I see. So this is a, a mouse designed to help you with erotic asphyxiation oh, and, no. gaming. and gaming. And gaming. Yeah. What is the slogan for this product? Uh, get <laughs> fucked. I think. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. We didn't write it. 
<laughs> we'll look, we didn't write yeah, it. Yeah, you guys take no responsibility. <laughs> we for take it. no responsibility. We step back from that answer. <laughs> so what What an interesting show. How long has it been on the air? 14 seasons. Is 14 yes. seasons. Amazing. You know, the telephone of novela, uh, landscape, and, and Mexico is muy, es grande, es fuerte. You know, there's the people like to watch. An interesting show. So it's muy interesante. You're, but you're you having know, sex with a mouse. I'm Yes, but I'm also doing a movie, Scott. Oh, congratulations. Thank That's you. That's great. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, dare I ask what the movie is the about? The movie is a, is a biopic, mm-hmm. biopico, de Gabriel García Márquez. Gabriel García uh-huh. Marquez. Who is that again? He wrote a hundred cien oh, años de soledad. Do you read books? Do you read books? Not famous novelist. Famous novelist. Huge, huge writer. How do you gamers know about this? <laughs> we read a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my mother's nightstand. <laughs> She has to come she up. She left and a few she books. Has that, she has Cavalier she and Clay. She has the red tent. <laughs> I know Cavalier and Clay. But... A lot of Michael Shaban. <laughs> um, so, and you, you're, uh, what, what was his life like that you are in a biopic regarding this? Well, it is more of we're doing sort of a magical reimagining of his life. Like, what if he was a giant man? Okay. So d- bigger than you because you're very tall. <laughs> Correct. Yes. This is a reverse process for me where I am playing bigger in the movie than right. I really am in real life. I'm six foot seven. Right. And uh, so, and how tall is this character? Fourteen feet. Fourteen feet. So. Yes. So you, uh, how do, how does that how is that done? You get closer to the camera, or it's como el Iron Giant. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Which was an animated film. Correct. Mm-hmm. So it's an animated film. No. <laughs> I don't make the movies, Scott. <laughs> So you not talk. Sounds like okay, these would be processo. questions you would ask going into the movie. Is it animated? How am I going to look taller? <laughs> no sé. <laughs> you don't know. Okay, got it. Who's right. directing? Is it Guillermo del Toro? Or? Uh, Benicio del Toro. Oh. Ben- oh wow, good for him. <laughs> Amazing. Is he going to yes. talk in his Star Wars: The Last Jedi accent the uh, whole time? Uh, I wonder. I can only hope so. Because that accent was. Uh, I mean, it's as true to life as yours. <laughs> <laughs> see, see. <laughs> well, this is. Uh, uh, congr- it sounds like you're doing film. You're doing television. Todo, 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 todo. Man, yeah. it's, 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 you know, I'm making more money now than I have ever made in my whole life. Congrats! Because I, I am know. from a small town in northern Mexico. Mm. El Which Botón. Town? El Botón. Mm-hmm. The button. Uh, the, the button. Yeah. Yes, because it's very small. Okay, and uh, so you, you're making a lot of money. Congrats! Yes. I just bought my whole village. Uh, in Botón. In see. Si. Oh wow! Congrats! I mean, the, the, uh, that's uh, the dream yes. to come back and and, and now, buy everyone you grew up with. Exactly. <laughs> now I am the mayor. You're the, oh, <laughs> yes. because you bought it, mm-hmm. or they elected you. Uh, that's the way it works in Mexico. Small uh, mayor. Small, exactly. Small, small mayor. mayor. But you're tall. But I am tall. Yeah. It is so great to own your high school bully. Have you ever thought about that? No. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Bought and paid for. What do you do? You make him do anything, or yes, yes. What do you make him? He do? is my personal assistant. He drove me here today. Oh, congratulations! That's yes. so cool. Yes, it's good. Yeah. I do not like him, but I like ordering him around. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, and how? To, and he has to just take it. He has to take it because I own him, his family, and all of his his history. His? How do you I mean? Purchased you, his history. How? What does that mean? Well, in Mexico, everything is for sale. Todo se compra, okay? So okay. I, yo compré su historia. I bought his history. You just bought his history, uh-huh. so he doesn't own it anymore. Yes. So can you change it? I can change it. Okay. Yes. Do you have ideas for what he should be for, in the past? In the, <laughs> well, what was he in the past? He was a bully. That's all he I know about He was a bully him. and a professional basketball player. <laughs> for who? For the Toronto Raptors. <laughs> oh, really? Um, wait, 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 what was his name? Vince Carter. Oh, my God, Vince Carter. Vince yeah. Carter? Yeah. He's was from your, Mexico? I thought he's from, from North Mexico. Carolina. And is your former bully and is your current driver? <laughs> yes. Wow, that's, that's, that's huge. Oh, my God, that's so exciting. Wow. So yeah. that's where he is. He's, I thought he was still playing. No, he's driving me around. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, congratulations to you, uh, Raul, on your success and Muchísimas your money. Gracias. Bienvenidos uh, todos. We're going to come right back uh, with more Raul de la Mancha. Eso. Uh, more Erupt and Swetch. And, of course, yeah. Christian here. Uh, Hello. We're going to be right back with more comedy. Bang, bang, after this. <laughs> hey, everyone. Support for today's show. And this is exciting to me. And we still have got no free samples from the company. Uh, occasionally when I do, uh, 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 when we have sponsors, they'll send me some stuff so I have, uh, you know, so I can speak from uh, actual experience. Ben and Jerry's, send me ice cream, please. 
I'm begging you. Uh, ben & Jerry's is supporting today's show. As a brand, Ben & Jerry's, uh, they're mainly known for creating quirky and unique flavor combinations, complete with delicious chunks and swirls throughout. That's safe to say. We can all agree on those facts. It's an indulgent experience, and it is meant to be. We all know this. But now, with new Mooforia flavors, a play on the word euphoria, Mooforia flavors, digging into a bowl of your favorite treat is even sweeter because at 140 to 160 calories per serving and less fat than regular ice cream, Mooforia is the lightest way to enjoy all the euphoria of Ben and Jerry's. It's so much better than the other healthier or better for you frozen desserts, and it comes in three amazing flavors. Let's list them. Chocolate milk and cookies, which is made of chocolate and vanilla swirls with chocolate chip cookies. Oh, God. Please send me some of this. Please send me some of this. Caramel cookie fix, which features vanilla and salted caramel swirls with shortbread cookies. Oh, I got to get some of this. You're killing me, Ben. Jerry, you're also killing me. And PB dough, complete with gobs of chocolate chip peanut butter. Come on! (sighs) Give them a try. Go to store.benjerry.com to have new Mooforia light ice cream delivered to you. Ben, Jerry, you got to hook me up here. Please send them over. This sounds delicious. I want them. I want them. I want them. Um, Ben and Jerry's store.benjerry.com. <laughs> Comedy bang bang. Christian was reaching for that water again. Pour me some if you're going to. God, you never warn. Well, ever. I don't know. How do I know you're going to be needing water every, at every, uh, break? Do and now it. I have to pour your water? Yes, you do. I, you're bought what and paid f- for. You're a Vince Carter to me. You don't own me. <laughs> oh man, I wish Does I Does anybody else you. want water? No, gracias. Erupt, um, you're good? I'm good, thank you. I, it, it upsets my stomach. All right. Water does? Yeah. <laughs> what, do, what, what do you eat normally? I mean, you don't like swordfish, you Lots say. of, like, dirty tacos. Uh, just what does that like, mean? Like, potato chips that are hanging on the floor. Just you know, dirty tacos? Yeah, what are dirty tacos? Like uh, tacos that have been on my mother's nightstand for a few days. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lots of those. Lots of those, yeah. <laughs> Maybe... Maybe those are what is upsetting your stomach and not the water I that you drink. I don't think so. I think it's the water. Yeah. Yeah, water. I love, like, you know what upsets my stomach? It's ginger ale. Like, that really upsets my stomach. Dry toast. You Dry can't toast. It. <laughs> yeah. Rice, white rice. rice. White rice. <laughs> Bland like that chicken. kind of stuff. Chicken Bland chicken. chicken. Yeah, yeah. chicken breast. Chicken yeah. breast. Uh-huh. Soup. You can't do it. Can't, can't do, do it. it. But can't dirty do tacos. it. Dirty tacos, real good. Yeah. So, so what, August 7th is the next competition? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we do it between yeah. um, the Hiroshima and Nagasaki uh, bombings. Yeah. Right <laughs> when between. were those? I, I don't August remember. August 6th and August 8th. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's the way to always yeah, remember. Yeah, they gave him a break. 1944. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be live on Twitch. Live on Twitch, uh, right. Yeah, but you can come and see it. Yeah, uh, where I'm is a little it? worried you're going to take some of our audience away from our premiere. Because uh, I'm sure a lot of gamers are going to dig this show. Yeah. yeah it's just Carter. business, man. Castle. It's just business. It's just business. It's no Carter. Oh, Carter. Car- Carter. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not Castle. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not Castillo. 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 Carter. Where, where Cas- is the competition Carter. that you guys are going to be at? It, where? Where, uh, it's international, actually. Uh, it's international. Are you guys at your your parents' house, though? It's in, doing uh, it? No, no, no it's actually in, uh, it's in it's uh, in Reykjavik. Uh, oh, it's in Reykjavik. Oh, Iceland. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's we go it's like an international tour. We're all over the place. Right. We're like uh we're going to uh Belize to do uh to do an event. Are you coming to what Mexico? Else? Uh yeah, I think so. Oh. Yeah, we'll go to just like the Yucatan Peninsula. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's not close to El Botón. Uh, we're doing like an event in like Prince, on Prince Edward Island. <laughs> oh, we're going to Yemen. Yeah. We're going to Yemen. <laughs> what a weird tour this is. Is this, yeah. is this financially gonna feasible? Be on like, yeah, I think so. Uh, we're going to do a, like a lifeboat in the Southeast Asian Sea. <laughs> yeah, on, uh, in uh, international waters. waters. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. 
Uh, and uh, 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 what are your parents going to be doing while you're out there on tour? They're going to be like in a cl- in, like in the basement. They're in the basement. basement, they're pretty sick because there's some like black mold down there. Yeah, it's, like some wet, wet carpeting. Just put and, some paper plates with yeah, a little the, bit of carrots the on them. Leaks, on the so yeah, they, they. Wait, when you said you were trying to put a door into the basement, I, I assumed that just meant from the outside no, or something. There's no, no, further down, deeper into the basement. It's a door that goes into like a small hole. Oh, where they can think. We're calling it the thinking <laughs> hole. Yeah. Because <laughs> right now their, like, leavings are just piling up in the corner. And so who, we want to get them leavings, somewhere to... <laughs> like, their dr- droppings? Yeah, yeah. yeah they're, 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 they're spore. They're spore. They're like little fucking <laughs> duty balls, like a deer. Yeah. <laughs> right. They're dry. Because okay. they don't get a lot of water, so yeah. they're, like, wow. dry little, get, like, hay Give them balls. some water. Let them go to the bathroom. They, they, they have parents. water. They just don't want to drink it because it's, like, hard Plus water. Plus, they're fucking it's, rude. It's ice? It's, like, calcium. so rude. No, like, it's, like, oh, got calcified. a lot of calcium oh, okay. and, uh, uh, you know, yeah. it's it's like so they're lime. picky. Yeah, they're picky. They're picky, and they pick at their skin. <laughs> My mother picks her. She's got long, shitty. She's got nails. really dry skin. She's always shitty trying to put nails. lotion on, but <laughs> she can't. She's she terrible. She's got it's hard to awful scoop it out with the yeah. lotion and get it on the rub it into I the skin. I think she properly. deserves it because she's got an awful voice. You remember those old lotion commercials where they would scratch dry into their dry arms? Yeah, I do, yeah. She's got that all over. She's got all kind of these crazy ramblings <laughs> scratched all scratched into her arms. Yeah. Really? And who does she hope will read them? Those. Maybe she's my dad. She's always trying to get, yeah, she's trying to get dad to, to read, read them, them, but he's blind now. He can't <laughs> yeah. see. Because of the darkness down there? And the, I think vitamin C doesn't get eyes, enough too. of that. So and, he has scurvy oh, yeah. of some sort? Oh, yeah, and his eyes, we dug we, them out with, like, paper clips. Yeah, we pissed into the holes and shit. Yeah. Yeah, Man, so it's, it's you can't fucked read. up. I mean, like we're hoping to make it a little bit better for them. Yeah, we're trying. We to order get, like, them a stuff like bag chair I signed my there. dad up for the trunk club. <laughs> What is that? That's like he's like <laughs> that's clothes like every, are delivered to his house. <laughs> clothes and like you know uh, uh, like, elephant trunks get delivered to your house. <laughs> yeah, for Donald Trump Jr.'s <laughs> elephant trunk personal collection. Yeah, his personal collection. Cool. Well, yeah. So you're trying to make things a little better. A little for them bit better after you dug out their better. eyes and pissed yeah. in their skulls. <laughs> We're trying to do like you know we love Event Horizon. Yeah, yeah. You this is hit. another video game, right? Yeah. No, it's, no, a, it's a movie, movie. Oh, with, uh, with Sam Chris Neil. O'Donnell. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> It sounds Chris like O'Donnell? a video game. No, Chris that's no. vertical. Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne. And Sam they go, Neil. They Sorry, go into I, another. They take an interdimensional spaceship into a hell another dimension, ship. and it right. makes them go another crazy. Dimension? Um, it, it, this sounds like a video game, so I, I assumed the movie it's was based a on a video game. Movie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. But it's fun. You it's know fun to like Horizon. do that to your parents a little bit. You know, get them back for all the years they like fucked you. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. exactly what Raul is doing with um, see, Vince Carter. See, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can imagine. He's she not kept dunking me, anymore. She kept wow. me in there for a full year, Scott. Yeah. She kept I was you where? huge, in her womb. In her womb. Yeah. So she prevented you from getting out. I I was a baby. I don't remember what happened. Well, but. it might have been her. What are you saying? You remember? I. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> sure. I mean, like, I do remember a little bit from that. I mean, I was one, but I remember a little bit. What What are you saying? You What are you, you saying? Are you I'm the person that was? Saying, I don't. I don't know. I might have like. I might have had a hand in it a little bit. I'm sorry to say. You put your hand in it? No, I'm so, I'm saying I might have had a hand in keeping you in. Oh. How so? Well, I didn't want you to come out. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so what were the mechanics of what you did? I just <laughs> me take and, a moment. <laughs> well, me and Dad, me and Dad, <laughs> we kept you in. On my way out, I may have put something in your way. <gasps> I may have dropped something. You like blocked, you, drop? you blocked the entryway. Uh, I blocked it a little bit. Would you have in but there? Now How'd I see you get that you're trying to get back at me by being ranked number one. What? I don't know. I'm this ranked is... number one because I'm a better player yeah, than fuck you. fuck you. In what? season seven, we did exactly this. <laughs> Esto está loco. Wow. Seven years ago. Wow. Seven years ago, we did exactly this scene. Wow. A brother had shoved his hand into his mom's vagina to keep his twin brother I from knew coming it. out. I knew it. And it was blo- a hand. And, and was blocked hand. something. Wow. wow. Hmm. You had your hand in there for a full year? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Fuck you, Steven. Holy shit. Whoa, Steven whoa, is your whoa, real whoa. name? Yeah, just whoa, Steven whoa. Stokey? Fuck you, Paul. <laughs> oh, God. Paul is your real name? <laughs> Whatever. It's erupt, okay? Paul's dorky. So Steven and Paul Stokey 
here, apparently uh, finding out a, a familial revelation, a bombshell, if you will, much like the Nagasaki bombing. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> you're, you're the one who brought it up. I brought it up because of the date. It's a date that I know, and I like to trot it out as something I know. So you're trying to brag about dates yeah. and knowledge. Yes. I brag about my trivial knowledge. <laughs> well, look, I think you should be more upset at your brother, Paul, here, uh, you know, for, for w- keeping you younger than him all these years and, and subjugating you. I could barely breathe in there. I had to get all my nutrients through an umbilical cord that was Which dry. Which he was, he was sucking out. a lot of nutrients out of your mom. Sorry, bro. He was taking them all from the breast, and you weren't getting them. Yeah, that's right. You got a full year of mama's milk. The breast. By the time I came out, she was all dried out. Seco. And I had to drink Sprite. A Sprite. I'm sorry. Lo siento. You're Wait, sorry. It's just business. <laughs> Solamente. Uh, <laughs> business? <Sí. laughs> Solamente business. Dairy business. You gotta hear the sound that comes off my dad's spine when we hit it. <laughs> it's got this like. <laughs> what? When we hit, our, we hit our dad. Stop spot. trying to change the subject. <laughs> fine, fine. Look, I'm sorry. Okay, I kept you in there. I didn't want you born. That's the truth. I wanted you to die in there. Anyway, so August seventh, we're going on tour. You can't just move on. I mean, do you? He apologized, I guess, and told you why he did this. It's over. We've moved on. I mean, I don't know. I guess it's water under the bridge. Yeah, exactly. You just found this out. <laughs> Like, just now. I don't, I mean, I don't know if you guys can be on the same squad, Sergeant. I just think, look, if it wasn't for what I did, you wouldn't be who you are. So I think I need a little recognition, a little thanks right now, actually. Yeah, I'm number one. Yeah, that's right. If you dip below number five, you have to kill yourself. No, you already made the pact. You already made the pact. You have to kill yourself with me. Wait, you, so if any of you drops out of the f- five, then all... I'm changing the rules that's of right. the pact. It's already too late. You signed it. Let's take a look at this pack. Let's Do you have out. a copy of it yeah, here? Yeah, it's right yeah. here. We have it on. Uh, well, we raised well, a bunch read. of money on uh, <laughs> Kick Ender. <laughs> let, me, let me read the this The Suicide thing. Pack uh, suicide crowdfunding pack. website. Yeah, it looks like if any of you drops below the final five, then it seems like you sh- guys should be looking out for each other because if not, We should check good. our rankings right now. We yeah, should, but you know, before them, we do that, uh, we have one last thing to do on the show, and that's a little something called Plugs. That was Short Song by Ted Kindig. Appreciate the uh, length of that. Uh, really appreciate it. All right, well, let's plug some stuff. Uh, Christian, what are you going to – what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Carter, coming out August 7th on WGN America. What time? Do you know? Uh, nope. Got it. And also uh, an episode, an, a new Earwolf podcast, mm. uh, Supergroup. Supergroup, yes. Tony Tiny Newsom's, Newsom and uh, Alex Klinner's uh, new uh, new podcast. This I is where they the write a song, record it, mix it, everything within a week, and yep. y- you're you're on an episode. Where I'm you... on an episode in a few weeks, so just keep an eye. Out. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see, Raúl de la Mancha. Uh, obviously, the show is Amor Sexo Ratoncito. Amor Sexo Ratoncitos in Telemundo a las ocho de la noche. And uh, Vince Carter. Uh, Do you have any plugs for Vince? Plug Carter? Vince Carter? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Check out highlight reels from the mid 2000s. He was pretty good back then. It was pretty good, like dunking Dunk contests contest and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Very good. All right. And uh, Stephen and Paul Stokey, uh, AKA Erupt and Sweatch. Um, any, uh, your show is at, uh, in Reykjavik on August 7th? August 7th. Yeah. Yeah. I know what Paul's plug is. Plug up our mother's cervix <laughs> for a year. Jesus Christ, man. It was fucking 37 years ago. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Technically, it was 38. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, technically, it was, it was 38, 38 years, years ago for a full years. year. Fine, but even the last day counts. I don't even know the logistics of this. Like, how she walked around and stuff. Well, yeah, how did she walk around? What do you mean, how? And she allowed this. <laughs> Or Which meant she wanted that too. She wanted to keep. I guess. In there. I guess Dad and Mom wanted it too. 
I guess we all didn't want you around. Oh, God. Considering that you eventually trapped them in the basement with no food and forced them to shit in a corner, maybe they were right. It's your fault, what? is what he's saying. <laughs> no, I'm saying, well, yeah. Yeah. It's maybe. my fault because of what I did in the future as a result <laughs> of their mistreatment of me? Yeah, man. You ever see Memento? It's like that. No, Memento is just backwards. It's not a time loop. <laughs> this is more like Looper. <laughs> All right, look, guys, let's not get off on what movie this is like, because it's a fucked up situation that is your own lives, Kinda all right? Like swordfish, if you ask me. <laughs> okay, but look. Or an episode of Love, Sex, Mouse. Yes, uh, exactly. Let's, let's, close up, let's close up the old plug Tiny bag, mouse. because Whoa, obviously. What a bag, it's time to open it. Okay, guys. That's well, the song you play to close the bag? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for listening every week. Um, I want to thank our guests. Uh, Christian, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you for having me back, Scott. Good luck to you. Thank uh, you. I also want to thank Raul de la Mancha from uh, from Mexico, not Transylvania. Uh, oh, see, 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 yeah. pardon. <laughs> you didn't know I was talking about <laughs> no, you. No, no, no. Can no, we no. watch the show in America? Uh, yes, in Hulu. Oh, great. Hulu. Uh -huh. Okay, great. See? And I also want to thank... Um, Erupt and Swetch, yo, yo. a.k.a. Stephen yeah, and Paul yeah. Stokey. Um, uh, do you guys want to check those rankings uh, yeah. uh, before we go? Yeah, or let's check, uh, it out. Check, let's it check it out. How do you check them? What's the process? You got to go on to uh, on, dub, 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 dub message board. Dub dub message board. board. Backslash. Yeah. Um, backslash. Ranking, current ranking. <laughs> ranking, current, current ranking. Ranking, yeah. current ranking two slash one. Okay, so you guys have put that into your phones and you're checking it yep. now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we're still one and two. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Great, congrats. So cool. you guys uh, come back anytime then. Since yeah, you're great, great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Be back. No uh, suicide. No suicide I really for thought us. that was going to end differently. <laughs> but no, happy ending for once. I love Yay! it. Yay! 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 We did it. Yay! The happiest comedy bang bang of all time. All right. Bam, pip, pip, pip. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening. And remember, support for today's show comes from Ben & Jerry's, known for creating euphoric ice cream with quirky and unique flavor combinations and delicious chunks and swirls throughout. And now with new Mooforia flavors, digging into a bowl of your favorite treat is even sweeter because at 140 to 160 calories per serving, Mooforia is the lightest way to enjoy all the euphoria of Ben & Jerry's. Available in three amazing flavors, including chocolate milk and cookies, caramel cookie fix, and PB dough. Try them all! Go to store.benjerry.com to have new Mooforia light ice cream delivered to you. Hey, this is Arnie from the comedy podcast Hello from the Magic Tavern, a chat show I host from the magical land of Foon with my co-hosts... Usador, the blue wizard. And Chuck, the shapeshifter. Most weeks we interview adventurers... Wedding planners. Ambulatory trees. But this week we have a special episode. I am so excited to learn about the earth lore contained in Pride and Prejudice. We're going to do a book club of Pride and Prejudice. And you said this is a well-loved book on Earth, right? Yeah, it's one of those books that people love or were forced to read or more... More likely, it's one of those I'm going to get to it. And some of our most beloved guests are returning to read the book with us and enjoy some drinks and food of a book club. We have Flower, we have Crom the Barbarian. And Germ. You know who they are. Maybe you don't give a crap about what an academic thinks about Jane Austen, but don't you want to know what a wizard and a badger think about it? Not enough spells. Not enough grubs. Not, Not enough, enough sword fights. fights. Whether you love Pride and Prejudice or have no interest in reading it and just want to listen to a book club go really off the rails, you'll enjoy this week's Hello from the Magic Tavern. We shall defeat this book!